In this video, we are demonstrating how to segment an image using OTAC algorithm. So before that, we should know what is segmentation. So image segmentation is an important part in image processing. It is the process of detecting an image from a background and then we are breaking that image into different different segments and it will become more easier to do process on those segmented parts. So this is what segmentation actually does. So partitioning a digital image into multiple segments and why we are doing segmentation? We are doing, doing this image segmentation in order to get the image or to change the image into something which is more meaningful and it will become very much easier to analyze. After we have done the segmentation, it will be easy to locate the object and boundaries of that image. So it is a process of assigning a label to every pixel so that same pixels have similar characteristics. we are doing image segmentation using OTAC algorithm. It actually performs clustering based on image thresholding. We already said that we are doing segmentation based on pixels. So in this we are having two types of pixels that is the foreground pixel and background pixel. We are calculating the optimum threshold which is separating those two classes so that the combined spread is minimum or the interclass variance will become minimum. An exhaustive search for the threshold which minimizes the interclass variance, which is defined as a weighted sum of the variance of two classes. So what we are doing in OTSU is that, or we are we can compute that threshold value. If uh, the first step is we are computing the histogram and probability of each initial level. Then after that we are setting up the initial probability and mean as zero. Then for all possible threshold, that is from t is equal to 1 and to maximum threshold, we are updating the probability and mean. And from that we are computing the variance. So this computed variance is then set as the deserved threshold. We have given an image of rows as input in grayscale that is rows.jpg in this program. Then with the then we have two variables his and bin where his represents the value of the histogram plotted and bin represents the range of the value of histogram. Then the entire values are divided into series of intervals and then we count how many values fall into each interval. Then we are initializing the final thresh and final value. We are initializing both final thresh and final value as negative one. Then for all bins, that is which is ranging from 1 to 254, we calculate the variable using this formula and thus we get the value. If this value is, and this value is known as minimum threshold and if this value is greater than the final value, then the value of final thresh and final value are going to be assigned to T and value respectively. If this value is greater than final thresh, then we will set it as white, otherwise black. Thus, we obtain the output in ot.png. So this is all about programming. 